so a tip from one mala to another. Bedtime, literally everything that we do. Wind down time. Both of my kids have been sleep trained. Shampoo, nappies, pajamas. I'm not really sure that that is biologically correct. I wish you could feel this through the lens somehow. And guys, I have found the perfect solution. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about an evening routine with a nine to 12 month old. So if this is the first time that you're tuning into my channel, then hi, my name is Mama Anissa and I'm a mom of two. I have a little boy that's two and a half, Jacob, and I have a little, little girl who is 11 months old, Amaya. So today I'm gonna to be showing you everything that we do with Amaya from after dinner all the way up until bedtime. So everything from bath time, wind down time, bedtime, literally everything that we do. And I would probably say that we have been following a similar routine from around about six months of age. Amaya is now 11 months old. So if you are watching this and you have a little one that is anything between six to 12 months old, then I hope that you find this video useful. Now for the best part, Mothercare Middle East are kindly sponsoring this video, one of my all time favorite stores for everything baby. So I will be showing you all of our favorite products that we use on a daily basis throughout our evening routine and they are all from Mother Care Middle East. So I really hope you enjoy watching today's video guys. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you on here. All you need to do is click on the subscribe button below and you will get to see some more videos from me and my family. So let's get started. Okay, so an evening routine in our house starts from around 6 p.m. And that gives us enough time to have finished our dinner. And we usually sit around the sofa or on the play mat with some toys. And in our house, we say, let our dinner go down. I'm not really sure that that is biologically correct, but it makes sense just to let your food go down before you head off for a bath. So just before I take Amaya through, I go in and lay out everything that I am gonna need for bath time. This saves so much stress and hassle. So a tip from one mala to another, just make sure you have planned the whole scenario out before you go in. You never know. I mean, most of the time, bath and shower time for us is stress-free. However, there has been an odd occasion where Amaya is probably feeling a little bit fussy and I wanna get through it really quickly. So it helps to have everything from your towel, shampoo, nappies, pajamas, everything is there and set. So as you can see here, I have got my towel laid out, I've got her caddy which has her nappies in it and everything that she uses on a daily basis. But we also have this basket that actually lives in our bathroom permanently and it contains all of the products that we use throughout bath time. And let me tell you about this new range that I have just discovered that's sold at Mother Care Middle East and it's called Mastella. So we've been using Mastella for a little while now and I can definitely tell you it has been super lovely and gentle on the kids' skin. So I have used their shampoo, their face cream and their wet wipes. Ever since using the face cream on Amaya, I feel like it hydrates her skin more than any other creams that I've used. So I would definitely recommend it and the good thing is you can use it from birth. I think I've mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but we don't actually have a bathtub in our house. And guys, I have found the perfect solution from Mother Care Middle East. Let me tell you about this product that I am loving called an Aquapod. It's basically a bath support, or in our case, a shower support, and you can use it from six months plus. It's a great solution for when your baby gets to that extra wriggly stage. So you basically pop them in this little seat and it comes with an extra long non-slip bath mat as well. So you can have free hands. I mean, you've always got to make sure that you are supervising them and you're sat with them at all times, but it means you've got your free hands to be able to reach out for the shampoo or the sponge and you can have a little bit of a playtime with them as well. Thank you. 
I love how bright and colorful it is. It's so easy to clean and Amaya has been really enjoying shower time ever since we got this. So I would highly recommend the Aquapod for mother care if you have a six months plus baby, especially if you have a shower cubicle, but it definitely is also a bath support as well. And one thing I forgot to mention, it has a temperature indicator on it just so that you can check the water is perfect for your baby. So after we've had a bit of fun, I tend to wash Amaya's hair every other day with shampoo. And like I mentioned before, we are using the Mistella range. So this is the shampoo that I'm using for her. Another item that I would highly recommend you get for bath time is this flexible soft jug from Munchkin. You'd be surprised at how often you're gonna be using this and how much you need it when you've got a little one. Especially as they move around so much, it's important that you've got something that's soft just in case you bump their little heads. The cuddle and dry towels from Mother Care are my absolute favourites. They are super soft and the perfect excuse for those after bath cuddles. What I love about them compared to other baby towels is they are extra long as well, so you've got plenty to wrap around them. There's nothing cuter than a baby in a onesie. So it's time to get all cozy and I'm putting Amaya in a vest first of all and then a onesie to go to bed in. And we have been buying mother care onesies for years. I've used them with both of my kids. I just feel that they are super soft, made from 100% cotton and they come in really cute designs as well. So after bath, we go into Amaya's bedroom where we would have a little bit of wind down time and we'd either read a book or just sit on her blanket and play with some of our fluffy toys. And this blanket is from a brand that I am totally in love with right now called Malabar Baby and they specialize in home essentials and baby products. I love all their textures and patterns. Everything is handcrafted, great gift ideas and you can find this brand at Mother Care Middle East. Amaya's cot is also from Mother Care and it's a brand called Silver Cross. We absolutely love it and we also got the matching chest of drawers slash changing table to match. And I want to share a mum hack with you guys that I found super useful with both of my kids. So just in case your little one has an accident and leaks through onto the bed sheets, be prepared and double up. So here is what I do. I put a mattress protector that of course I got from other care and then on top I put a fitted sheet and then I do the whole thing again. And it just means that in the middle of the night, instead of having to take all the sheets off and put brand new ones on again, you just need to take the first one or two layers off and there you go, you have a brand new clean bedding. And this saved me so many times. And now it's time for Amaya's last feed of the day. So she's exclusively breastfed and at 11 months, she is now feeding between four and five times a day. So this is the final one. I don't dream feed her anymore. We gave that up a few months ago. So this will be the last one until tomorrow morning. Both of my kids have been sleep trained and it's really important that just before bedtime we follow the same consistent routine. So every night we pretty much do the same thing. After reading a book, I sit down on the chair, I give her a little cuddle, dim the lights and we start feeding. And one of Amaya's favorite things to snuggle up to right now while she's feeding is this super cozy, super soft blanket from Mother Care and it's by a brand called Busy Growing. And guys, I wish you could feel this through the lens somehow and see how soft it is. Literally, the minute that we cuddle and snuggle up, I want to fall asleep myself. I really wanna get one just for me. And it basically sits on our feeding chair. She'll run her hands through it and just make all these really cute noises and it kind of gives her a little bit of a relaxing feel. And after our feed, we'll walk around the room, I'll wind her, we'll sing a few lullabies and just have some nice cuddles. It's such a beautiful time because she's nice and relaxed and I just know that they're the final cuddles that I will get before I see her the next morning.
And the muslin that you see there that's on my shoulder is called the Cherry Blossom Muslin and it's from the brand that I told you about earlier that I'm in love with called Malabar Baby. Again, I absolutely love their muslins. They're super soft and they come in really nice patterns as well. So after a few cuddles, I put Amaya down awake. She will put herself to sleep. She usually has this little cuddly toy that she holds on to. She will probably rub her eyes, sometimes make a few noises, but she will put herself to sleep, which is again, the key to getting her to sleep through the night. So that brings me to the end guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching and thank you Mother Care Middle East for kindly sponsoring this video. All of the products that you saw today we use on a daily basis through our evening routine and I would personally recommend them, especially if you have a 9 to 12 month old then get yourself to Mother Care, get your hands on those products and it will make your evening routine much more enjoyable and easier. So give this a big thumbs up and tell me in the comments box below which was your favourite item that you saw today. But for now I look forward to seeing you in my next video, bye guys, bye!